Okay, I tried a video another way and it didn't work, but I am gonna make for Thanksgiving Day my grandma's cream cheese corn. My grandma made it all grown up, then my mom made it, now I make it for my kids, but you need a 32 ounce package of frozen corn, sweet corn. You need a stick of butter. <clears throat> you guys, this is the healthiest, okay? Stick of butter. You've got your, and I've got my crock pot here that I'm putting everything in. Package of cream cheese, <clears throat> keeping it super healthy. Will you give me a one tablespoon uh, measuring spoon out of there? And the hubs is trying not to well, be in the video. Yes, the that. biggest one. Oh. Thank you. You can tell he never cooks. He doesn't even know about oh, measuring spoons. <laughs> okay. And then, <clears throat> sorry, opening this package of cream cheese is like, I guess trying to get into Fort Knox, kind of. So, I just dropped the whole thing in there. And then, I'm going to do a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. That's just the salt I like. And we don't use salt on hardly anything. But I do some salt, pepper. And the key ingredient is sugar. It actually calls for like a half or three quarters cup of sugar. I do not do that. I sprinkle in just a little bit of sugar. So that wasn't even an entire tablespoon of sugar. That's all I use. I do change the recipe up in that way. And then you do, this sounds crazy, but you do six tablespoons of water. I don't know why cup. six. I'm recording a video, thank you. Um, <clears throat> okay. Water comes off of the frozen corn. I don't really know why you need the six tablespoons of water, but that was the recipe, so that's what I do. I put the lid on my crock pot on low and let it cook for four hours, and I stir. Um, I typically stir it like two or three times over those four hours because the cream cheese will soften, the butter will soften, and then you can mix it all in. So, not a healthy recipe, but it is a favorite of ours, um, especially for Thanksgiving. So, uh, obviously I hopped out of bed, got up this morning, gotta start cooking. So, um, that is what I've done. I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving.